Well, welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Aging in Style with McLaren. And joining us right now is Judy Goik, Director of Rehabilitation Services with McLaren Bay Region. Judy, thank you so much for being here. How are you today? Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yes, we're glad to have you. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about inpatient rehab. What type of person requires inpatient rehab? Well, inpatient rehab helps patients achieve their highest level of function after a serious injury, surgery, or an illness. Okay. So some of the most common types of patients that we see are strokes, head injuries or brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, neurological conditions, amputations, and even hip fractures. Okay, good to know. Now, Judy, uh, what is the goal of inpatient rehab? Why would someone go to rehab? Well, our main goal is to get patients back home and functioning as best they can. If they can't make it back home, we wanna get them to the next level, safest level of care, mm -hmm. that's possible. We wanna get patients back to doing the things they love that provide meaning in their life and get back to their normal routine. Uh, part of what our goal setting for patients is that we involve them in goal setting. We involve them in their plan of care. They have a say. And the more say they have in how we set it up, the more invested in their recovery. And I'm sure it really empowers them too to uh, keep with it. Yep. All right. Exactly. So how long do patients typically stay in inpatient rehab? It varies based on the patient. Okay. Um, we base it on their individual needs. We have an interdisciplinary team conference every week and the team all comes together to meet and discuss how the patient is progressing, how their medical needs are being met, and any barriers to discharge homes. We, we look at those barriers closely to try to eliminate those. And the entire team meets, including the physician. And we discuss those, and then we meet with the patient and involve them in the plan. And then that's when we can give them an estimated length of stay. Okay, so uh, I guess it all depends. So uh, say someone is headed to inpatient rehab for the first time. They don't know what it might look like. What's a typical day look like? Typical day, in a hospital, you'd be wearing a patient gown. But in a rehab unit, you get up and get dressed every day because that's part of your home life. Yeah. That's part of that preparation to go home. They typically get two hours of therapy, three hours of therapy a day, sorry. And that includes speech, occupational and, speech, and uh, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. It's spread out throughout the day. So it's not three hours straight of therapy. It, you have rest breaks, meal breaks. It's spread out throughout the day. And we tend, to, we tend to focus on strength, mobility, being able to ambulate, balance. We work on activities of daily living, and those are things that you do every day. How to shave, how to dress, how to prepare meals. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the things we work on as well. And then in speech therapy, we work on swallowing function, speech, cognition. Well, Judy, it sounds like it really is also working on self-care, but also maybe a boost in these patients' confidence. Yes, yes, to build that confidence. And we also work with the families so they can help the patient out. We do some training with the families as well. All right, very well-rounded. I love that. So who is typically on a, a team caring for these patients? Well, we have an interdisciplinary team that's led by a board-certified physician who specializes in physical medicine and rehab. And then the team itself consists of specially trained rehab nurses, nurse practitioner. We have the physical and occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists. We have social workers, case managers. We have the attending physician that come to the unit. Mm -hmm. And we have a multitude of consultants and specialists who also are on the unit. We also have uh, um, case managers, social workers, rehab liaisons that are involved in the care of the patient as well. And the interdisciplinary team is focused on caring for that patient. They work very closely together and you can tell they love what they do because everything they do with that patient is their priority. Yeah, I love that. Now, Judy, uh, is there a difference between inpatient rehab and maybe a, a skilled nursing facility? Is there any differences there? Yes, yes. Um, an inpatient rehab unit has a more intense level of therapy. We do the three hours of therapy a day. And it also has a more intense level of physician care. Our rehab specialist physician sees the patient three times a week. And on the days he doesn't see them, our nurse practitioner rounds with the patients. And then our attending physicians come in and deal with the medical issues on a daily basis. So they see a physician almost daily. 
There's also a more intense level of nursing care. Mm-hmm. Our rehab nurses are 24-7. They have a smaller caseload of patients, and it gives them more time to do that rehab teaching and rehab education, preparing the patient to be successful in their recovery. All right, Judy, I love to hear more about this. This is really great. So how can really someone uh, seek out and benefit from these services? Well, typically it's after an injury or a surgery and illness. So you're typically in an acute care facility or a hospital at the time. So you'd ask your case manager, your physician, your therapist. If you think you might have problems going home and taking care of yourself, ask that question. Am I a candidate for inpatient rehab? We have rehab liaisons that come to the room and meet with you and talk about what to expect in rehab. Are you a good fit for rehab? Is rehab a good fit for you? And they can show videos of the unit and talk about what to expect at a rehab unit. And then they make sure everything's in place. If you need insurance authorizations, they will get it all in place for you. Sounds great, Judy. I appreciate all of this knowledge. It's been great to learn more. And uh, I'm hoping somebody takes something away from uh, today's segment. So thank you for calling in. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. And uh, if you want more information at home, just head on over to the Aging in Style page on WNEM.com.